Hello and welcome to activity number one. So our first activity for castle day today, we are going to be making our very own castle. So have you seen many castles before? Perhaps you've visited a castle. Well, I've been looking in some books at all kinds of different castles. This castle here is the kind of castles that um, would have been around during Norman times, which is nearly a thousand years ago. You might have been lucky enough to visit a castle. Um, I have recently, so I was looking at some photographs of that as well to try and see how I can make my castle really realistic. So I've been looking at the parts of a castle too, because it's important that my castle looks just like the castles that I've seen. So here's a diagram of a castle. And on here, you can see there are all kinds of different parts. We have things called the drawbridge here. The drawbridge is this part here. So they would bring the, the door up, the bridge up, and then when people needed to enter, they would bring the bridge down. That was to make sure that they only let their friends into the castle and not their enemies. We've got things like towers here. These are the towers here. They could climb the towers to keep a lookout to make sure that no enemies were coming near the castle to protect themselves. And um, this is the Barbican here like the special entrance way, the doorway um, into the castle. We've got the bailey, which is the inside of the castle. We've got uh, the portcullis, which is the, the door that they used to open to let everybody in. Um, and then we've got what we call the battlements, which is the, the top of the wall that we all recognise on a castle. Okay, perhaps we could do that on our castle today. And finally, we have the moat. A lot of castles used to have water running around the outside. That was another way of protecting the castle um, to make sure that people didn't didn't get in. You know, lots of people perhaps couldn't swim or perhaps the water was too deep or perhaps, you know, they'd, they'd fire arrows at people when they were in the water. So let's have a go at making our own castle. So for this activity, you're going to need, well, as many things as you can get hold of, lots of um, junk or recycling. So here I have got... Um, a box here, an old cardboard box, which I think is going to be the main part of my castle. I've managed to get some tubes together, which perhaps could be the towers that we were looking at. I've got some coloured card just down there that I can use as well. I've got glue and scissors and sellotape. Um, and I've also got some string here, which I thought would be really good for my drawbridge. So I'm going to have a go at making my castle now um, and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, so I just used my scissors. It was quite difficult, so you might need to ask a grown-up to help you. Um, I cut out around that archway shape, around my portcullis, and now oh, I can bring it down to make a drawbridge. It's starting to look like a castle already. Now I'm going to add some string to this so that it really does look like a drawbridge. In a real castle, they would have used like big iron chains or very, very strong ropes to bring the drawbridge up and down. So I'm going to add that just to give it a little bit more detail. Okay, so I've tied my string um, to the drawbridge and you can see I looped it through and then I made some more holes just up here at the top of the barbican and threaded it through. And then inside here, I've got um, a loop there. So it's just one piece of string that goes all the way through. And if I reach inside and pull that string, it closes my drawbridge and then if I let go of it again, just give it a little little push, it will come down. Let's try that again, ready? Yay! That's so exciting. Okay, so I've got my drawbridge that works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at making uh, the battlement shape around the outside. So that looks a little bit like what I've done here um, on the barbican. I'm going to have a go at cutting out my battlements all around the top and then we can add some towers. Hello, so here is my castle. Um, I've added some towers to my castle and I've added uh, like a, a steeple to my castle as well. I've got, I need to do the other one. Um, I've done my battlements around the outside um, and my castle is really taking shape. But I'm gonna leave my video there now while I carry on. I think I might even paint it as well to try and decorate it. And I can imagine my girls are gonna have lots of fun playing with the castle and the drawbridge. So you have fun making your castles. I would love to see what you come up with. Post some photos to EYFS Home and I will join you very soon for activity number two.